What's up guys? Today I bring you another dose of cool tech gadgets that you can pick up right now from Amazon. Now in this episode we'll be covering a wide range of interesting new products including some uniquely designed ultra cool looking Bluetooth speakers, we've got a new handheld game console, an interesting foot massager, some advanced game controllers both wired and wireless, we have gaming headsets, an action camera, gaming keyboards, some Steam Deck accessories and a very interesting 3-in-1 drone and lots more. So if you have not already, then please like and sub to the channel and follow on socials for more innovative cool tech videos, reviews, gaming and lots more. And as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. So first up, we have a new smart SSD enclosure. This is the dock case pocket. So we've got an all metal body design. We've got tempered glass on top. It's very compact in size. It's 4.3 centimeters by 4.3 centimeters, and it's only 1.5 centimeters thick. It supports SSDs up to two terabytes, and the length is 2230, and it's based on NVMe PCIe 3.0, and it does feature USB 3.2 Gen 2. You also have advanced features like power loss protection, read-only mode for extra security, and it also features a 1.33 inch IPS display, giving you all sorts of status information for storage size, the SSD health, um, the transfer speeds, and lots, lots more. So a powerful, solid SSD smart enclosure, the dock case pocket. These are the Edifier W820NB+. Now these do support Bluetooth 5.2. You have high-res audio and high-res audio wireless certifications with an LDAC. These can be used Bluetooth wireless or you can even use them wired if you prefer to do so. They feature hybrid active noise cancellation. You have a 49 hour battery life and they do support fast charging. So 10 minute charge will give you seven hours of nonstop music. Now they are predominantly made from plastic. You've got a matte black finish. Um, the ear cups do swivel. They are well padded on the headband and the ear cups themselves. Um, and they are quite comfortable to wear. You can extend them and the extended part is made from plastic as well, um, and they are not foldable. Furthermore, you have built-in microphones to take your phone calls, and there is even a dedicated gaming mode to give you that extra boost of low latency. Now you do have onboard controls, so volume control, power button in the middle, you've got a mode button, and a Type-C charging port. Edifier's new affordable range of wireless headphones, this is the W820NB+. So next up, we're looking at a very interesting foot massager by Mountrax. Put your feet in, you've got touch controls at the top. You, it will give you three knitting modes and three air compression intensities. You can also switch on heat mode during your massage. That is optional. You don't have to have it on. And that will give you temperatures up to 50 degrees Celsius. And the extra heat is supposed to help with blood circulation, etc. This also comes with a small handy remote control, saving you having to bend right over to touch those controls whilst this is on the floor. Okay, so I've got to try this out. Wow. So netting massage. You can see it's on low on both. We're going to put it on high on both with air compression. Hey, that feels good. Wow, the air compression feels really good. So it's like the cushion inside um, is squeezing your feet, compressing your feet. Almost how a blood pressure machine would feel, but with your feet. That feels like someone's actually pressing your feet. Um, and the netting massage at the bottom, you've got these roller balls and they're just spinning and they're giving you that netting massage. This actually feels really good. Uh, I must admit, I can get used to this. You can also conveniently set a timer on this for either 15 or 30 minutes. Awesome product, foot massaging done right. This is the Tray Sound One, a super premium speaker designed and inspired by mountains, aiming at that natural minimalistic design made from a combination of wood and metal. This is a rather nice looking Bluetooth speaker. You've got a very nice finish to go with it. Piano gloss white with metal etching. The peak on the top actually twists and that's your power button. So you can see what happened when I twisted it. The lights turned on at the bottom and then, and then the tip is flashing to indicate that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. I'll switch it off to show you the difference. 
you can see how that light just slowly fades out turn it back on so the speaker offers a 360 degree sound that can fill an entire room no matter where you place the speaker this speaker supports Bluetooth 5.1 with Qualcomm APTX, producing 24-bit 96 kilohertz of audio. And it also features a powerful Class D amplifier built in. Now inside this unit, we have two 15 watt full frequency speakers. They are both two inches in size. You've also got a five inch subwoofer offering up to 30 watts of power. And to finish it off, you have a 1.25 inch silk film tweeter. Altogether, giving you a total power output of 60 watts. Now, in case you're wondering of the size, this is 16.9 inches tall and it's 11.8 inches in diameter at its thickest point. And the speaker weighs 13.2 pounds. Let's quickly test out the sounds. Sound quality is actually quite crisp and clear. You've got a decent amount of bass in there as well. I was actually quite surprised to how loud this thing gets. Um, I could only put the volume halfway and I was going over 85 decibels. Um, I did briefly try the maximum volume and you saw that it peaked to well over 90 decibels. Very powerful speaker, very loud speaker, um, great quality sound. And if I had to rate the bass, I would rate it four out of five. And if I had to rate the overall sound quality, I'm giving this thing a 4.5 out of five. Trust Lyra wireless keyboard and mouse set. Now I'm quite a fan of low profile keyboards and mouses. Um, this one is compact, slim line, a very nice space saving design. What's special about this keyboard and mouse is the fact that there is no built in battery. There's no removable battery, sorry. Um, you've got a built in rechargeable battery in both. So they do charge by type C. You can see the type C port on the front of the mouse and you've got type C port on the front of the keyboard. So it works via Bluetooth wirelessly and there is a built-in USB dongle. So that will give you 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection to your computer. You just plug one dongle in and it will operate both devices, which is quite awesome. You've got multi-platform compatibility, Windows, Mac OS, Android, iPad OS, and lots more. And get this, the battery life is insane. On a full charge, which takes two hours, it will give you a massive six months battery life. So after you charge this for two hours, you don't need to worry for six months. Now the mouse is rather slim, uh, slimmer than what I'm currently used to. So along the lines of the Apple Magic Mouse, I suppose, but I suppose you can get used to it. And I picked this up specifically to use with my iPad Pro. Um, I think it would go with it quite nicely. We are looking at the Palkiddy X28 retro handheld screen size 5.5 inches it's 720p ips fully laminated display and this is running android 11 you have the ability to play android games and retro classics like psb gamecube n64 and lots lots more now out of the box this only comes with a few games you can see riptide gp2 and two other games so you basically have to install all your games yourself and I also want to add, there is no Play Store included. So you have to sideload all your APKs. I believe there is a way to download the Play Store. You can check the links out in the description box to show you exactly how to do it. Quickly check out the controls. You've got D-pad, we've got two clickable joysticks. We've got X, Y, B, A buttons. And you've got your select start, home and back button. And you've got two more buttons on the side for menu and G. You can see your stereo speaker grills at the bottom. And up on top, we have trigger buttons. And these aren't the whole triggers, these are just standard trigger buttons. Top, we've got power button, micro SD card slot, and you can see there is no micro SD included. We have a Type-C charging port, mini HDMI, we've got another Type-C OTG port, headphone jack and volume rocker, and at the bottom we have nothing. So that is pretty much all your ports on top. Now there is a built-in 5000 milliamp hour battery which promises up to five hours of non-stop gaming. And this console is powered by the very familiar T618 chipset. And you can see that the built-in gyroscope is working absolutely fine. So it's nice to have that. Uh, you can, of course, control the game with a joystick as well. I want to see how loud that volume gets. We put the volume on that.
you can do a lot more with this thing but you do have to install everything yourself games are not included so you have to basically sideload them consider this a kind of diy project um, if you're into retro handhelds uh, this one is quite capable the processor is quite powerful i believe this will easily be able to run ps2 psp n64 etc now, quite frankly, the webcams that you get built into your laptops um, are never really up to scratch. If you want to do anything more than a Skype or Zoom call, um, if you want decent quality audio and sound, you really have to go out there and buy a webcam. Now, check this one out. This one is jam packed with features, which includes a built in ring of light around the sensor. This also has dual microphones, one on each side. The camera itself features autofocus. You've got field of view and light correction. It supports 1080p at 60 FPS. It's ideal for live streaming and it's compatible with all the popular streaming apps like Zoom, Teams, Skype, Facebook, YouTube. And it also works well with OBS, Split, Twitch, etc. And you also have these useful clamps so you can actually hook this up onto the top of your monitor or even webcam. Now here we have the Edifier QD35 high res Bluetooth speaker with an interesting transparent design. Now this has certifications for high res audio and high res audio wireless and you have an LDAC. This supports Bluetooth 5.3 and also has a powerful built in digital amplifier with a DSP chipset. Internally, you have a three inch mid base driver with an aluminum alloy diaphragm and you've got a one inch silk dome tweeter to go with it. So in total, that gives you a maximum RMS of 40 watts. This also features dual fast charging USB ports. So the USB-A port will give you 18 watt fast charging and the Type-C port will give you the full 35 watt fast charging. This speaker is compatible with the Edifier Connect app, giving you some audio presets and customizable EQ to play with. On the back, we've got power button, power socket. We've got an audio jack and a full size USB port. And on the side, we have a power and mode button in one. You've got a volume dial, but it also clicks so you can play and pause and change between various modes. And we've got a lighting effect dial as well. When you first plug it in, the Edifier logo illuminates along with the time and battery info in the corner, along with a Bluetooth flashing icon telling you that it's in pairing mode. So when you press the light button, you can see we've got various effects. Wow, that looks really cool. So volume control, music's playing, you've got lighting control, you can adjust the brightness and if you press it, it will change between various effects. And volume, I'm only going to do it halfway. So with only 50% volume, we are achieving over 82 decibels of sound of volume, which means the speaker is going to get really loud if you take this to 100%. Uh, the sound quality is really nice. I'm loving that bass. The sound is just firing straight at you. Uh, a really clean sound, very bassy sound as well. Uh, really nice to have that high res audio and high res audio wireless certifications. Okay, so next up we are looking at the SJ Cam C300. So a whole bunch of accessories and mounts included, including a waterproof case. So this is SJ Cam's attempt at a modular designed action camera. It's got a battery on the back that is a 1000 milliamp hour battery. So the smaller attachment is ideal for vlogging situations. You've got a screen in front. Um, if we just remove that battery, you've got a longer attachment and this one has a 2800 milliamp hour battery. So if we just attach this connection, so with this attachment, you now have dual screens. You've got a screen on the front and you've got a screen on the back and you've got a bigger 2800 milliamp hour battery. There is a charging port on the side and you can charge and record at the same time. It does support 4K at 60 FPS and you can take 20 megapixel photos. This longer attachment actually has a tripod thread at the bottom and the shorter attachment does not. The camera does feature six axis gyro electronic image stabilization. You do also have uh, touchscreen control and the touchscreen is quite responsive. You can double click the button to switch screens from front to back and vice versa. There is a smartphone app, app called the SJ Cam Zone app. This camera can also be used for live streams. So you can just hook it up to constant power and you can start live streaming from your most uh, popular app straight from your computer or laptop. So the SJ Cam C300 people. Okay, next cool product is the GameSir T4 Kylid. 
Here is the controller, transparent design, which I'm always a fan of. We've got a braided high quality Type-C to Type-A cable. So this is multi-platform controller. It supports Windows, Android, Nintendo Switch, and more. You have very nice Hall Effect triggers and Hall Effect joysticks. So the very best, really nice premium quality joysticks and triggers, D-pad, X, Y, A, B buttons, select start and a few extras there, including a home button. And on the back, you've got some programmable buttons as well. Now this controller features a six axis gyro. So the RGB lights can be customized. You can also fully map and customize all the buttons via the software app. So high quality, premium, multi-platform wired game controller. It's very ergonomic in the hands. It's almost giving me an Xbox feel and vibe. And I really like that textured finish. So it's quite grippy as well. Easy SMX wireless controller, uh, a very interesting design you have here with the paint splashes. Now, ultimately it feels good in the hands. You've got an anti-sweat and anti-slip material. It supports multi-platform, so Android, iOS, PC, Switch, tablets, etc. It actually supports three connection modes. So you've got Bluetooth, wireless USB dongle, which is included, and this also works wired. This also features Hall Effect joysticks and Hall Effect triggers, and again, feels really nice. You've got four customizable keys on the back that you can completely customize. You've got your six axis gyro for motion control, and you have a super eight hour battery life for non-stop gaming. And you can see you've got the switch layout. So you've got dual joystick, D-pad, plus minus, home, you've got uh, X, Y, B, and A. A top quality, but affordable controller by Easy SMX. Um, so here we have a brand new wireless mechanical keyboard by a company called Royal Clutch. Look at the size of this thing. This has to be one of the most compact mechanical keyboards I have ever seen. It's compact in size, 71 keys. Love how mechanical keyboards feel. Um, features three connection modes, Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz wireless. So there is a dongle included and you can see it right there or USB Type-C wired connection. Now they managed to fit RGB backlights in this compact design. You've got some spare bits and pieces included. The keys are also hot swappable. Now the internal battery will give you up to 13 hours of usage with the LEDs on the lowest setting. Now this does support multi-platform, so Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, iPad, etc. Really nice to have such a compact mechanical keyboard with RGB backlights and with a pretty decent battery life as well. So next up we have the Binbok V1 Steam Deck cooling fan. So this fan basically clips onto the back of your Steam Deck, so it's gonna cover these vents. So let's try that out, like so. So it clicks in place, so it's blowing air in, and then you've got an exhaust on top for the air to escape. It's meant to give you a better heat dissipation, especially useful for all you hardcore Steam Deck players out there. It means you can use this for more extended gaming sessions without worrying about damaging your Steam Deck. Another plus point is the adjustment dial will let you adjust the fan. So the fan noise is around 57 decibels on max. You can turn the fan noise down. So if we just turn it down, so I can still hear it. It's really faint now. Let's see what type of noise we get. So the fan noise drops to 39 decibels when you turn it right down. So adjustable fan noise, definitely useful to have. Um, not only that, there is a kickstand. Now, I really like having a kickstand on my Steam Deck and it's quite a nice one. It's a metal kickstand. So you know it's gonna withstand the test of time. So next up, I'm looking at a three-in-one drone which works on air, ground and water. So we've got a tiny little controller here, powered by two AA batteries, and you do need a screwdriver to access the compartment, which is included, along with a USB charger and some spare propellers. We've got two batteries included as well, and each battery will give you around five to six minutes of operating time. Now we have quite a uniquely designed drone. So you can see a drone sitting on top of a float. You can basically pull it apart, and then you can just twist the back end. So that makes it into a flying drone. I'm just going to slot one of the batteries in to the top, like so. To pair up, you push the joystick forward and then push it back. You can see the light is no longer flashing. Oh, that's so cool. Here we go. You can turn. You can turn left and right, which is quite cool. Okay, fly my turn.
Now, I actually had more fun with this product than I thought possible, and it works exactly as stated on the tin. The three-in-one drone is actually quite incredible. So there you have it, guys. That concludes episode 81. If you got this far, then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favorites from the bunch. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Now, all the links are provided for you in the description box. Like, sub and follow if you have not already. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.